Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are watching this from. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Today, I'm solo in the Fishbox store, and to be honest with you, I kind of like it. If you got your own store and you work by yourself, you might like it too. Really therapeutic, get to listen to your own music. You just get to enjoy your own time, get your thoughts together, get your mind right, and that's what it's all about. And if any of you guys are out there, and you're worried about starting your own mailbox store on your own and not having help, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's very therapeutic to get started on your own, especially first thing in the morning when you got your nice cup of coffee. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna get into it. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Let's go. What's up, y'all? So what I'm holding in my hand, this is the Bella Vista News. And it's essentially the quarterly, I think it's quarterly, newsletter that goes out to everybody in the Bella Vista neighborhood, which is the neighborhood that I live in and the neighborhood that Fishbox is in. And if you remember from a previous video, I said get active within your neighborhood and get to know your neighborhood association people. So I was looking through the newsletter and I saw something really interesting. And it was the list of board of directors. And I noticed that a third of the board of directors have signed up for Fishbox. And I just thought that was really cool. I'm sure they talk amongst themselves. I'm sure people ask them about what's going on with missed and stolen packages. And I'm sure from time to time they refer Fishbox over there, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. You wanna get active within your community so that people with influence could use their word of mouth to tell other people about it. Hey, good morning. Yeah, let me check for you. Let me see what I got. It's crazy how much Nolan has grown. I can't believe it. I know, it. like looking at these two, these side-by-side -side pictures. It's night and day, right? <laughs> Just this one for All you right, guys. thank you. No problem, enjoy the day. You too. All right, y'all, so I thought today was gonna be a chill day, and today is actually gonna be a chill day, but I just saw something that reminded me that I shouldn't chill too long, and it's this. I completely forgot that Amazon Prime Day, well, days, because it's two days now, started today. And of course, a lot of packages, actually none of the packages are gonna show up today. Maybe one or two might show up tomorrow, which is Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and especially Monday, it's gonna be crazy. All next week is gonna be crazy. If none of you guys out there have gone through your first Amazon Prime days yet, get ready. I would say this is probably the bigger one out of the two because they had one over the summertime, I think in July because people are getting ready now for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and of course, holiday season. And honestly, I kind of like that Amazon did this because it takes a little bit of the stress off of that Black Friday week. Before they had Amazon Prime Day in October, Black Friday week, Cyber Monday week, whatever you want to call it, that was absolutely insane. Everything kind of got crammed into that time. So I think a lot of people that shop online early for the holidays are going to take advantage of these quote unquote deals because you and I both know you could probably get all these deals during any time of the year. But just because they call it Amazon Prime Days, people go crazy. If by the time you see this, you're noticing an uptick in your packages, that's the reason why. If you're noticing this after Amazon Prime Days, congratulations, you made it. But don't rest too long because it's about to get even crazier from here. So this customer has 21 total pieces, 10 small packages, nine medium packages, and two pieces of mail. Let's get it. So everything is in here, all 21 pieces. That's the beauty of having these around. What I can do is I can zipper this up. I can have it ready for the customer when they arrive. I marked them as picked up in our database and we got some more space there.
Alright, y'all. New drip alert. <laughs> and this ain't no drip. When you reach a certain age like I do, it's all about comfort and functionality. And so I used to be the big Jordan, Yeezy, LeBron type guy back in the day. Those days are over. I can't even, I can't even afford that stuff anymore. So what I got is, I'm not sure if y'all know about Tom's. Sometimes you just need something slight, you know, something calm. Just to wear now that the fall time is here. I got the little fur on the inside so my feet feel good. Sometimes you just need something to rock. You know, 50, 60 bucks, looks decent, goes with everything. Nice earth tones for the fall time. And from all I know, these guys got like a great social impact slash sustainability model. And I think they donate shoes and give money back to people who need it. And you know, that sounds good to me. The price is right at 50, 60 bucks. And people will look at these and be like, what are those? But hey, that's cool with me. All right, y'all, so it's about 11.30, and I was saying the last week, Jonathan and Francisco helped me update the store a little bit, add some more shelves, and move things around. So let's see how that looks. So before, this shelf right here was just kinda, I wouldn't say for show, but it just was there waiting for some packages to, to move on that one, and since then, we have moved stuff over there. We combined a bunch of shelves here for just a, a group of packages there. We got a bunch of stuff going on over here. We used to have this desk over here, but we moved it there just because it was more convenient. And I think within the next week or so, definitely before all the packages for Amazon Prime Day start arriving, I'm probably either going to have to move that all the way in the corner or take it downstairs and put another shelf there. That's going to be a challenge. So we took these shelves and slid them over this way a little bit to be flush with that area over there because we were getting so many big packages in this corner, we couldn't even move this little thing out this way. So now we have a lot more room over here, which as you can see, it's already getting filled up. Got some packages on the floor. Bathroom's gonna be filled up soon. And of course, we got this whole wall here full of shelves and packages. Believe it or not, I'm gonna try to put a row of shelves right in between here somehow. And another one over there, <laughs> I hope. And then if I'm feeling real freaky, I might put a row right here, but that's like an absolute emergency. And uh, hopefully I don't have to get to that, but then eventually we'll have to start going downstairs. The main reason why I don't want to go downstairs is because I still work by myself for two, three days out of the week. And I don't want to have to continually run up and down the stairs and turn my back to customers when they're all waiting for packages. So, especially if they're heavy, I don't want to be putting a lot of heavy stuff down there. But if I need that space, I got to use it and that's a good problem to have. But I don't know. We'll see how that happens. So, I'm going to continue with the day and I'll see you on a little bit. Appreciate I'm rapping, man. You are? Yeah. A Dominican rapper? Yeah. What's your what's yeah, your uh, okay, what's your rap name? Kiko La Brega. Kiko La Brega? Kiko. Kiko. Kiko? K I K O? Yeah, K yeah. Show show me what it is, right? Kiko La Brega. Kiko La Brega like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, my brother. I love yeah. it, man. man this is right here, Fishbox TV. It's uh okay. I got my we put content there, vlog. Yeah, that's right. I follow you, I follow you. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, bro. I follow you, man. I appreciate it. Me too, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You got it, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Enjoy the day. Another customer just texted in about her packages. Let's go get them. That dude, Kevin, he's off today. The one that delivers here, I guess. Oh, okay. That's a little short, short dude, he's off today. So okay. that's the reason why they gave me today. Now you got 14. And I got a big white box coming in. You got it.
So you got two more? No, I got one big white box going in. Is that one ours? Yeah. Oh, okay. two. I just had it because it dropped in the street. I don't want to oh, run it over. Man. Somebody pick it up. Yeah. No, they will. You need a hand with the other one, bro? What's that again? You need a hand with the other one, the big no, one? I'll put it right on the hand drop. Okay. You. Last one. That's it. Thank you, man. All right, I'll be out tomorrow. <laughs> you got it, right? You know it's a matter of time before you're back over here full time, bro. Stop fighting. You know what they do? They split. They split the routes up. Yeah. Like some days I might do here. The other dude puts those, and I'll do it in the other street, and I'll switch back up here. It's off, it's off and on. Yeah. But on the holidays, I might be delivering here. Okay, you got it, bro. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys remember that face, but that is our delivery driver for FedEx Ground. His name is Ray. He actually delivered the fish box for, since we started over at 737, he's been our delivery driver for FedEx Ground. He actually quit about six months ago, maybe even longer than that. And he was like, I'm done with FedEx. I'm leaving them alone. They're not treating me right. And at first we were like, hey man, you got to find out you know what's best for you you got to go find out what you got to do that makes you happy but then after a while we kind of missed him because ray always came earlier the other fedex ground drivers would come three four o'clock in the afternoon which really jammed us up especially on mondays and tuesdays it's about noon now and ray's already delivered all of our packages so the sooner we can get all of our packages here the better because after i would say three o'clock that's when all the customers come to pick things up so it's tough when customers are picking things up when FedEx is dropping things off. So the earlier the better. But shout out to Ray. If you're watching any of these episodes, leave a comment down below. Say, welcome back, Ray. We missed Ray. He's back now. He only delivers once a week, but it's Tuesday, and he delivered yesterday. So it's already two times a week, and he swears that he's not going to be on this route again. But we shall see. Yo, my brother, how you doing today? Good day, man. Good day. Sir. Good day? Okay. That's what I like to hear, brother. So I got a couple things for you. I got those two packages going back. I got those tubs going back. And there's an envelope in there for the voter stuff. Yeah. I'm sure you guys see a lot of this time of year. Yeah, they're picking up, man. I think a lot of people's uh, voting by mail now. I think so, bro. This I'm year, sorry. I ain't gonna print. It's the most I've seen so far. So far? No, yeah. we still got uh, another right. month to go. I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you know what? Yeah. I ain't about to sit at that polling booth. <laughs> yeah, me, especially when that weather get colder out there. Yeah, no way. Right. All right, man. All right. Thank you, Tony. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yeah, holiday season pretty much starting today, bro. You know what I mean? Because you know how it happens. They order today. It's two days. Today yeah. and tomorrow, two, which yeah. means on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right, Monday going to be crazy after yeah. the weekend. And then after that, it's just going to be crazy for the until the end of the year. I know that they like that you put this little spot right here for all of them. Oh yeah, the customers definitely do. Yeah. Hopefully it's easy for y'all too. Y'all can just drop everything over here. Yeah, that's way better. One day they're gonna better. have 300 packages on y'all truck, 500 packages, and they all gonna come here. Drop it all off. We're gonna be here for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully y'all Cause they be, having us, they be having us do this. Yeah, the pictures like, bro. We wanna pitch up every single, I just another 32, I gotta take 32 pictures. All right, bro, thank all you. Right. No problem, bro, enjoy the day, bro. Yes, you too. All right, y'all, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the title of this video. Yes, Fishbox is hiring. We're moving towards holiday season right now, and just like every company out there, we need more people to work here. I think I just saw an article the other day, at least um, Jonathan or Francisco told me about it. Target is hiring 100,000 more people. Fishbox, we need at least one more person to work here at Fishbox. I'm normally by myself two, three days out of the week, and I wanna be able to have somebody else that can help me. Theoretically, I could do everything by myself still, but what I want to do is hire somebody else to help me out, but also so I can bring somebody else onto the team. Part of working at Fishbox isn't just about working to help me out. It's all about training you so that you could be able to do what I do here at Fishbox so I can spend more time doing other things. There needs to be two people at Fishbox at all times. Me and another person right now, but I'm thinking once that other person gets trained up, we could bring another person in after that. That person can manage the new person that's coming in. And then we could just have five or six people on rotation that can sign up for schedules whenever they want to work. And then we could just have people here making money and helping them realize their goals. The place that I went to to find some new candidates is Indeed.com. Now, this isn't a sponsorship or anything. This isn't an ad or anything. I've never used them before officially until this time around. And so a few days ago, maybe about two or three days ago, I think on Friday, 
I posted a job listing for some people that can come and help me move packages around. Essentially do what Jonathan and Francisco been doing because um, they can't work every day. So once I posted that, I thought, okay, it's probably going to be a little while before we start getting any candidates signing up. So within a few days, my inbox has been flooded with people that want to work here, which of course I'm like humbled by that. I think that's really cool. So what I realized is that I want to have somebody that's either in the neighborhood or close enough to walk the fish box to be able to work. What happens is, you know, fish box is open pretty much rain, sleet, hail, snow. I live right down the block here. So if it rains, it sleets, it snows, I can still make it in. And I don't expect somebody to have the same type of hustle that I have. But if somebody's you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 miles away and has to drive an hour out the fish box, that's going to be more of a reason for them to not want to show up. And it's a lot easier from my past experience to be dependable when you're located within the neighborhood, when you can walk right over here. So I did a couple things for these 104 people. One, they have to take an assessment. An assessment is really basic, anybody can do it, but we need people that have an attention to detail. And the cool thing about Indeed.com is that they have a test for people that apply for certain jobs to see if they have at least the basic level of attention to detail. Number two, they have to live in 19147, which is the zip code where Fishbox is located. I know that really minimizes the amount of candidates that I can get, but to be honest with you, anybody can do this job. I'm gonna be here with you every step of the way, so it's not like they're gonna be here by themselves. We got the new software that makes everything straightforward, super simple, so I can easily teach them, and all you need is a cell phone. You can use an Android, an Apple phone, you can even bring a Blackberry if you need to, because it's all web-based right now. So I just need somebody that's close by, that is willing to come in, that is willing to pay some attention to detail that's somewhat reliable. So I'm going to be going through this. It's going to take me some time. I'm going to give it a couple more days to see more things that come in. If some of you guys and girls are out there want to work at Fishbox for the holiday season, maybe longer than that if you're good enough. Hit me up in the, in the comments or here's my email right here. Reach out to me. Maybe we can work something out. You can work here for the holidays, get you some experience. So maybe you can build your own mailbox store or maybe you can join the Fishbox team and we can go from there. But on that note, I'll see you in a little bit. 700 South 7th Street? That's right, you're at the right spot, Target. Alright, man, man. Appreciate you, bro. Just make it sure, man. You sure that's the only one you got? Yeah, it's the only one, man. Alright. I'm gonna take a picture of just right here in the package. Yeah, that's right, bro. Or maybe you'll be back in 30 seconds with another one. I probably might, baby, I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely, my man. I knew it, bro. How'd you know? I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's I'm crazy, hoping man. that you ain't got to go back out to the car and come back and get no, another 30 seconds. I think I just checked. You know, all right, bro. Good, man. <laughs> all right, man. Enjoy the day, bro. All right, y'all. It's about 4 o'clock. It's about to get busy in here as far as people picking up packages, but... Man, I'm feeling like Amazon Prime Day. Maybe tomorrow we might see some uptick, so I'm getting a little worried. So I think I want to install a new shelf just in case, because you never know. So I got three shelves downstairs. I'm going to pull one upstairs. I'm going to install it. I'm not going to walk y'all through no B-roll of that because I've done that plenty of times before. But just wanted to let you know that I'm going to get it and I'm going to be prepared. And to be honest with you, I'm going to do one today. And I think I may do another one either tomorrow or later this week. If I can install two more by this week, I think I'll be in good shape. But uh, let's go get that other one and let's install it. After much deliberation, <laughs> I decided to move it over there. I'm not sure if you remember, but this was there. And before you went downstairs, this was just there where we could stack packages up. But I thought it would be a great idea to move that there. I, I was missing like an inch over here. So I had to move all these over like an eighth of an inch. So I can have almost an inch to be able to fit that there. But it fit there. I'm happy about that. I put this here. Hopefully that'll work well there and uh, we still got some back area over there and we still got a lot of area here and also keeping this area open right here so i don't know all right y'all it's about 6 30 towards the end of the day today had a great day today nice and chill but also a good amount of work so if you guys know anybody that wants to work at fishbox that lives in 19147 email me or maybe it's you who knows anyhow on that note make sure you like comment subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace